This could be the room of any small boy, but it just happens to belong to a boy named Christopher Robin. Like most small boys, Christopher Robin has toy animals to play with, and they all live together in a wonderful world of make-believe. But his best friend is a bear called Winnie the Pooh, or Pooh for short. Now, Pooh had some very unusual adventures, and they all happened right here in the Hundred Acre Wood. Deep in the Hundred Acre Wood Where Christopher Robin plays You'll find the enchanted neighborhood Of Christopher's childhood days A donkey named Eeyore his friend and Kanga and little Roo. There's Rabbit and Piglet and there's Owl, but most of all Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. Cubby little cubby all scuffed with fluff. He's Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. Willy nilly silly old bear. Winnie the Pooh, Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, Pooh. Tubby little cubby all stuffed with fluff. He's Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. Willy nilly silly old bear. Winnie the Pooh lived in this enchanted forest under the name of Sanders, which means he had the name over the door in gold letters, <laughs> and he lived under it. Now, when Pooh heard his poo-coo clock, he knew it was time for something. But he was a bear of very little brain. So when he thought, he thought in the most thoughtful way he could think. I haven't thought of anything, have you? No, neither have I. Think, think, think. Oh, yes. Time for my stoutness exercise. Up, down, up. When I up, down, touch the ground, it puts me in the mood. Up, down, touch the ground, in the mood for food. I am stout round, and I have found speaking poundage wise. I improve my appetite when I exercise. <laughs> 